Okay, let's try some quadratic um, equations so you can get a good start to the um, paper one. And this kind of question here, wow, it's such an easy one to factor that we learned in grade nine. And you just factor it. You look for what's in both. X is in both. And you factor it out. X times X is X squared. X times minus 7 is minus 7X. Well, now we can see what's going to make this equation zero. Well, 0 times anything is 0, so x is 0. And 7 minus 7 is 0, so zero times, so 7 times 7 minus 7 would be 0 as well. So these are your two solutions. So that's how to get a good start. Don't get confused. OK. And this one's even easier because the whole factoring quadratics, um, sort of solving quadratic equations, the, what you do is you factor, but this one's factored. So we're looking at the answer. If I put minus 2 in there, that's my answer. x equals minus 2. So there's one of my answers. The other mark is always 1 over 3 and the opposite of that sign. You could write 3x minus 1 equals 0 and solve, but do it fast. 1 over 3, this number over the number in front of x and change the sign. The next question is you just don't want to get this wrong because it's another factoring thing, but it was the easiest one for people to factor before because it's a difference of squares. And if you just square root both things, you've got your answer. Square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So it's 3x plus 4, 3x minus 4. There's a mark. And what are your two answers? Now we're looking at them. 4 over 3 and change the signs, or negative 4 over 3. 4 over 3 and change the sign. Okay, let's try the last one here. Now, if you get a question like this, you have to put it in standard form. This 10x has to come over here and become minus 10x. And you have to put the x squareds, then the x's, and then the numbers. Now, you could use the quadratic formula if you really want. And you'll get these two answers at the end, 7 over 3 or 1. But this one is pretty easy in a way because 3x and x is the only things it can be to give you 3x squared. And the only factors of 7 are 1 times 7. And it's got to be a negative times a negative. I sure couldn't put the 7 there. I get 20-something x. So if I put 7 there, I get minus 7x minus 3x. And there's your two answers. 1 minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1 and 7 over 3. So you can use the quadratic formula and go a is 3 and b is minus 10 and c is 7. You've got to sh put it into the formula and show your work and then you'll get these two answers. Now the, a whole lot of the questions are, are, are you can factor in the beginning but there you go. That hopefully will give you a good start.